In this short document, we'll talk about how to use maximum minimum slopes in a graph. In this document, you'll learn how to determine the uncertainties in the slope and y-intercept when graphs have big error bars, and how this depends on whether the slope is positive or negative. So, when you have points on a linear graph, sometimes they'll line up pretty well. In this case, the uncertainties in the slope and the y-intercept will be determined by the error bars on the graph. So, following is an example of a graph with a positive slope. So here's a simple graph with error bars. You see the error bars for each point are shown by uncertainties in the x and y direction. So for this value of x, this is the x error bar, this is the y error bar. The line of best fit would look something like this. It goes through, you notice it goes through all the points. Note that the line of best fit crosses all of the error bars. So this is the steepest line that crosses all of the error bars. Actually, it touches each of the error bar rectangles, which is the important thing. Because for this point here, these error bars mean that the point is actually valid anywhere in this rectangle. So you notice this line crosses, touches this corner of this rectangle and this corner of this rectangle and goes through these points. This is called the line of maximum slope. Since it has a positive slope, it will have a minimum y-intercept, because the intercept will be down here. This is the least steep line that crosses all of the error bars. Again, you'll notice it top co catches this bottom corner of this point, this top corner of this point, and goes through these points. It's called the line of minimum slope, and since it has a positive slope, it will have a maximum y-intercept. The intercept is up here. Here's another set of points with a similar line of best fit. A line drawn from the corners of the first and last points, like before, looks like this. So that gives us the line of maximum slope as before. Now here's an attempt to draw the line of minimum slope as before. It misses the two middle points. If you notice this point here, the corner is here and the line's above it. The corner of this one is here and the line is below it. So we can't actually use that line. If we change it and catch the upper corner of this rectangle and the lower corner of this rectangle, now it touches both of these and goes through these. So now we have this as the line of minimum slope because it crosses all of the error bars. In general, the points that give the line of max and minimum slope will depend on the data. And it won't necessarily be the same points for the line of maximum slope as it is for the line of minimum slope. In a case like this, then it's obvious that there's no line that crosses all the error bars. So in that case, the uncertainties have to be determined using standard errors, not using lines of maximum minimum slope. For a graph with a negative slope, things change a bit. So here's an example of a graph with a negative slope, and the line of best fit is shown. So now if we use the same corners as before to get the line of maximum negative slope, doesn't quite work, because now we have this line, we see that we can move this line either direction and it will still be within, so we can make a steeper negative slope by moving it. So now if we catch this upper right corner of this point and this lower left corner of this point, now we have a line of maximum slope that goes through all of the error bars. So this is now the line of maximum slope. So the corners that you need to use are different depending on whether the slope is positive or negative. So, if you can draw a line which crosses all of the error bars on a graph, then you can use maximum minimum slopes to determine the uncertainties in the slope and the y-intercept. If you can't draw lines that cross all of the error bars on a graph, then you have to use standard errors to determine the uncertainties in the slope and the y-intercept. In general, which points you use to get the lines of maximum minimum slope will depend on the data. And in general, the same points won't be used for both the line of maximum slope and the line of minimum slope. Depending on whether the slope is positive or negative, then you need to use different corners to calculate the maximum minimum slope.